Hi everyone, it's Michael for Frontline Web. Um, been asked to make a short video. Well, I wasn't asked to make a short video. I was asked to describe how I best uh, optimize my Wix websites for my clients to rank high within search engines. So I thought it'd be a better idea to make a video. Now, the first thing I do with any website, the most important thing is obviously the domain name. Well, I personally think that. So here we're on a page for a car valeting firm in Lowestoft in Suffolk, the UK. Now, his name is Autoshine, and he's a car valeting company in Lowestoft. Now, I did say to the client that I would prefer him to get, or I should buy, car valeting Lowestoft, which sends clear signals to the search engines that he's a car valeter based in the Lowestoft area. No, but he was adamant. He wanted the word Autoshine. I tried to explain to him that... No one knows who Auto Shine is, and that would show up in search when they when they click to the link. They would automatically see the description and your name anyway. But never mind. Let's get that out of the way. So he's gone with Auto Shine Lower Auto Shine Lower stuff. Was absolutely fine, but I would prefer if you're buying the domain name, keep it as short as possible. Um, no hyphens in it because Google will understand your words anyway. So if you're a florist in London, basically put. Uh, the area you cover, so it could be Floris Camden, for example, or any geographical location. Right, number two. What we normally do then, I normally do, is obviously we set up the page, everything's set up. So Wix, we're given this option here, page SEO. So you can see I've already filled my in. So basically, it covers car valeting in Lowestoft, which is a smallish town. I say about twenty thousand inhabitants in a town called Lowestoft. But also around Lowestoft is towns called Beckles, Southwold, and Goldstone, which he wanted to cover. So obviously, we put them in because that's sending signals again to the search engines. It's car valet in these locations. Then we go on to page description, which is important as well. So again, we put in the word car valet in Lowestoft. And then the description of services that he may provide and a contact number. Now, you should keep the description down to, mm, the Google do say about 155 characters, but I've seen people with 329 characters. But try and keep it concise, put what the service is and where the location is. Then I go on to keywords. Now, a lot of people say keywords don't matter, but remember, Google is not the only search engine. So I put in car valet in lowest of Beckles, South Wall, Goldston. You know, I put them in anyway because I think they do work in other search engines. And that's just a personal thing. SEO is very subjective and, you know, people can have a lot of rows about it. I'm just showing you what I do and I'll show you how my sites rank. So that's done. And then basically we just publish the page, yeah? So also, obviously, you've got to put a, a fair bit of content in about us and that, but don't put too much content in that people's um, span, they, they, they just don't want to read loads and loads of scripts. So basically, I, I put on this site, this is what this guy offers, these are the different services, straight to the point, easy to navigate, there's a portfolio, make sure in your port portfolio also that all your images have um, alt tags on them, so that Google, obviously, can't see the actual images google can only read what you tell them about that image so again on these i would have put um car waxing or automotive um, car waxing lower stuff beckles um loads of different descriptions just make sure they're alt tags you'll see that when you go into your description yeah so that's pretty straightforward so imagine a site is all published now which it is it's been on for about three or four days, I should imagine now. So we're all published. Now, the first thing I will definitely say is go straight over to Google Search Console or Google Google Webmaster Tools. The first thing I do anytime is um, register the site or verify the site with Search Console. So here we all have all my sites here. So we just go to there, to Auto Show and Lower Stuff. And I've done another video how to add um, Search Console to your Wix website if you go onto my YouTube channel. So we go to crawl, and the first thing I'm going to do is sit, submit a sitemap. Now this is very important because otherwise you'll be waiting around for the bots to crawl your site. It could be an eternity. So we just add a sitemap straight away, and we all know that it's sitemap.xml. So we just submit that straight away, refresh the page, and Google will instantly start crawling that site. 
or pretty instantly in any way. And next thing I do is fetch as Google bot, they call it. It's fetch as Google, fetch as Google bot. So basically we're telling the search engines this page exists and start crawling it. So basically I've done all mine already. So you, you, you'll go through vi um, different options. You, you fetch a page. So basically we're fetching the home page at the moment. And then we submit it to the index. I'm not a robot, but I'm sure I sound like one. <laughs> And then we just, I not generally put crawl this around its dry, uh, direct links. So there we are. So that is pretty straightforward, wouldn't you say? So now we go back to the Wix editor. So we're done there. So we can come out of there and leave. So what I'm going to do now is go to my sites. I'm not very organized here. I'm sorry, everyone. So there we go. We'll go to the site autoshineloweskoff.co.uk. And after submitting your search, um, your site to search engines, <clears throat> another important thing to do, which I do, I want to start pushing this site out. I mean, if he's paid for a SEO package, he wants his site start showing up, or he wants people to see his site. So there's a great tool I add. It's called Share This. So automatically, I can link all my accounts, and I have like a fair few accounts. And I'm going to push this gentleman, you know, straight out. And just wait for it to load. We've got a low slow connection today. It's probably because my site's still loading. Not bear with me, everyone. But I think you get the point anyway. So we can share. So that will connect me to LinkedIn. So you can basically, I think you basically get the idea. What will happen there is a box will come up and I'll show you all the. Uh, information about the site and an image so look we could share it automatically to all these social networks or the social networks you got and don't necessarily have to be all of them but put it in there uh, put your hashtags where your location is and it's a pretty instant way of getting straight out there again so that is number three now number four what i normally do is i make a slideshow it's easy so easy to do on youtube so basically, I upload some images and then I make a short video, probably about a minute. So also, it's advertising me, about my website as well, which is good. It's also getting brand awareness for Auto Shine in Lowestock. Look at the keywords to use again in the description. And description again, show more. And obviously, a link to his site. Now that gets picked up. Let me pause this. Oops. Now that will get picked up within about two or three hours on Google. And if you're putting a location in a small town or, or wherever you may be, it's going to be a little bit hard if you're in a main city. You need a little bit, more, a little bit more work to do it. But it's very, very, very achievable. Um, I've done loads of videos that rent one page one in in cities. So. That is tip number four. Get some views on that. Share it to social media. Don't deviate from any plan at all. So, and what I'm going to say also is when you set up your social media, i.e. Twitter, for example, or Facebook, keep all the branding exactly the same. So basically keep your image, your logo the same, keep the same word in. Um, when you're doing your Facebook page, as this this gentleman hasn't yet, but he should just put Car Valley in Lowestoft as his name. Now, Google and all the other search engines will be seeing all these lovely links coming in and associating different words and different phrases to associate with um, Auto Show and Liar stuff. Now, what else do I normally do? So we can have a quick look in search, and we will. I will type in Car Valentin. Say, for example, one of them I think was Beckles, wasn't it? So let's see what it brings up for us. So, so we're not on page one yet. But can you see the video that I made, the slideshow video, is already on page two. And also his actual search result is on page two. So I expect that to move up to page one with next, I don't know, two days, three days with a little bit of work. So see, you know, it is really achievable and really easy 
if you're doing things geographically, if you're not doing things geographically, and I've done that for a lot of clients, I've done um, for Timeshare, which was 300,000 search results, something ridiculous. I got them onto about page one within about, it took me six months, you know, just organic search results. And um, the best way if you want to get into higher rankings for cities that is obviously I would recommend AdWords. If you, on, on other ways, it's going to be obviously link building. A lot of people put the importance of link building. I'm just talking about geographical um, search. But obviously, if you're going to do link building, you need to do link building with your same kind of niche company. So if you're a car value, uh, you need to go to car value in products or a blog that does things to with car detail and car value. And obviously you don't want to go into a porn site and put your link because that, that have um, no authority whatsoever. So have you got any more questions? I hope it didn't sound too jumbled, but basically look at your domain name, look at your meta description, I'll tag all your images. Then you need to submit to Google Webmaster Tools immediately, fetch as Google Bot, and any content that you change on the website or submit a new sitemap again. Then submit to all social media, set up some social media, media accounts, and submit your content to them, which is a great way of localizing it. If you put hashtag, for example, I'm using the word lower stuff, but hashtag California or a state in California, I think you're getting the picture. It's just about pushing yourself out there. Um, then make a little small YouTube uh, slide show video, which as again, if you word it correctly, keyword it correctly, you're going to get views and it's going to show up locally as I just shown in videos, every single one of my does. And every single my websites, by just using this formula geographically, for people who want to cover geographical locations, every single my websites, about 35 of them, are on page one, without exception. So, you know, it's an easy process. It takes a little bit work your end, but once you get going and get your social media set up, you know, you're on your way. It's not rocket science. And as I always say, words matter. Thanks very much.